What's up, everyone? Mike from What the Fun. This debate section is from our latest episode of Test Your Might, the weekly video game debate show. The full episode is found on any podcast app of choice with Apple and Spotify links down below. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Uh, on to the blind fight. <laughs> All right. So that's 2-1 uh, Cicero is winning by one. Uh, and you just lost that debate, Cicero. You get to pick first or second for this one. Uh, now, for the blind fight, I did not make it. I know I told you that. Uh, Chat GPT did. Uh, and it's a funny one. So I'm, I am I can't wait to get you guys in it. Uh, I want you to pick one or the other, Cicero, and then I will do the question for okay. you. Uh, you are going to choose either... <laughs> Flaming Hot Cheetos mm -hmm. or Extra Buttery Popcorn? Uh, extra Buttery Popcorn. Okay, that means, Sean, you have Flaming Hot Cheetos on your side. Now, for the debate question, thank you, chat GPT. Uh, Battle of the Snack Titans, which is the superior gaming snack? And what would affect your gaming skills the most? Flaming Hot Cheetos or Extra Buttery Popcorn is the question. So you're gaming. You're eating. Mm -hmm. This row, you have Buttery Buttery Popcorn, Extra Buttery. Mm -hmm. And Sean, you have Flaming Hot Cheetos, and you're fighting the other person's snack for the victory. Question. Mm -hmm. My Buttery Buttery Popcorn, is that buttery flavor, or do I have actual butter on, it's like, on the popcorn. It's like so it's oily when butter. you go to the theater and you right. got that oily, right. oily okay. butter. Okay, yes. so the oily and, butter And Sean is, has the Flaming Hot uh, Cheetos. It was Flaming Hot Cheetos. So, uh, <clears throat> so I mean, so the one, the wonderful thing about uh, the, Flaming Hot, the Flaming Hot Cheetos is that they'll burn your mouth. So great, Flaming Hot, that's wonderful. There you go. Now you're all confused and stuff. Buttery popcorn is just delicious. Every bite, delicious, delicious. And then you you eat that, you lick your fingers, blah 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 blah. You you wipe them on your hands, and then you go back to gaming. You're done, right? You're done. You you're you know you've got your little napkin. You've licked your fingers. You've done all that stuff. That oily residue is not on your controller. You're good to go. You don't have flaming hot Cheeto dust all through your controller forever and ever. You don't have oil on your controller forever and ever. You've taken care of everything. You're enjoying. Your popcorn is delicious. It's like a movie you're playing. Go ahead, Sean. Yeah, I just... Look, <laughs> the thing is, video games are not movies. There's a time in my life where I would have been not on the opposite side, but like I was, I was enraptured by the heavy reigning of the industry of making, you know, I love a cutscene. But popcorn of this quality, of this kind, is firmly in the realm of movies. And I don't think we need to anymore be conflating these two mediums. They are their own things. Now, when we think about video gaming, we think about the gremlins. There's a reason that people love D.Va of Overwatch. And it's because she represents gamers everywhere. And key to that... Is the Dorito, the Dorito, the Cheeto, the Taki fingers? It's why we got it. I'm not, I don't often embrace tradition, but I do think that if we are deciding what is the gaming snack, tradition is a part of determining, like looking back at history of what has been previously part of gaming as an identity. We can't just leave an our part, a vital aspect of our identity behind. Second, I've been, in, I've been in the high schools. Um, I know that the types of snacks that the youth are into mm. are the Flaming Hots of the world. Again, we're going to the Takis. We're going to the Flaming Hot Cheetos. They're everywhere. They're pervasive. Correct. And they're the ones that are defining where, I mean, yes, like, it's the old people making games. But it's young people playing them. It's the young people buying all those right. copies of GTA. Like, yes, it's also y'all. But the reason it's still huge and people are all those concurrent players are the are the use and they're having their flaming hot Cheetos, not their popcorn. I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you how it is. Yeah, I mean that's fine. That's you know what you're right. You don't make the rules. Um, 
and 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 we I all kind of we all kind of have to <laughs> live within with, with with that reality that you don't make the rules, Sean. However, what I'll say mm-hmm. is when you go to the movies, there's popcorn. It's not flaming hot Cheetos. If there was, hot, if if there was popcorn where the young people were eating those flaming hot Cheetos and Takis and all that other stuff, they could get movie theater popcorn. They would be choosing movie theater popcorn by and large because movie theater popcorn is delicious. That is why it is there. And if you could get movie theater style popcorn where you are, you'd almost always choose that because it's See, here's the thing. Delicious. I have roommates that go to movies for the popcorn, and what they do is they bring those huge tubs of popcorn back with them like every time they go to see a movie. Right. Another thing about the the youth is that they're the ones working in the movie theaters and they do have access. They have access to this popcorn all the time. Right. They aren't bringing it home to to game to. It's not happening. Because it's not the same if they were able to make it the same, right? You get a bucket, you got the butter, you got the hot popcorn, and you're eating that, then they would choose that every time. Over so, but process. So bag. this is maybe this is ideal world, but like that doesn't make it a gaming snack. If you can't do it where you're gaming, it's not a gaming snack. But, well, no, but but we're turning it into a gaming snack. If if the gaming snack is available, if it's available during the game, then that's that's why you're going to use it. Another reason that popcorn is preferred. Another reason that popcorn is perfect is it comes in a bucket, right? You put the bucket to the side. You're playing. You're playing your game. You just go into the bucket. You reach into the bucket. You sm- You uh, mush your face with with the food. You shovel it into your mouth, and then you go back to gaming. You don't have to fumble through a bag and reach through a thing and crinkle all over the place and do all that stuff. It's just the bucket. The bucket's right there. You grab the bucket, you grab the food, you get back to gaming. It's more efficient, right? And it's self-sufficient. You don't need to babysit the bag. You don't need to wonder where it is. You don't have to try and finagle getting it open. You're going to lose trying to eat hot Cheetos. You're not going to lose trying to eat a bucket of movie theater style buttery popcorn. Because you're gonna have you access are currently to your losing hand. under you are currently losing underestimating the gamers who have found a way to solve this problem for decades. Uh, well, yes. So there, obviously, you will to the find point it's not a problem. Uh, no, well, no, no. Well, obviously, you will find a solution to a problem that you have until someone develops a thing that makes you trying to solve that problem seem silly. Right, like like a bowl. You just put it in a bowl. Right, but then, yeah, but then, what you know, answer. but then yeah. you put it in a bowl. But now you've now you've sullied put two different. You okay. sullied two different things. Right, you get the popcorn. You got the popcorn. Boom, popcorn's in the bucket. Butter in the bucket. Boom. When you're done with it, you throw that that one thing away, and you're done. And you're done doing all the stuff that you were doing. Right. That's that's the thing. Is like certain times. Sometimes. There are inventions that come out where you're like, oh, man, I've been doing all of this stuff. Like before the back scratcher was invented, people were like trying to find corners to do things and they would scratch their back with the corners and they or they would get their friends to scratch their back and do all that stuff. And they so they solved that problem. Right. And then someone was like, hey, I invented a stick where you can go back and you could scratch your back. And you're like, oh, man, I don't have to go onto corners anymore. I can resolve this problem a lot easier and a lot more efficiently than I had been in previously. And that's what we're talking about. You have people going through bags and they can figure out ways to try and make that work for them. And they got to prepare all the stuff and think about whether or not I got a bowl to pour the stuff in. Is the bowl big enough? They don't have to think about that with popcorn. Uh, I, I got to pause you here. Like how do you have to prepare popcorn more than you have to prepare? Flaming but, you've already, but you've That's already but you've already got the popcorn. You've already got the popcorn. Ah, but right? if you run out of popcorn, all right, I'm having an intense, long gaming session right. as I do. Okay. 
and I'm out here with my popcorn or my Cheetos. I run out eventually. I run out of popcorn. I gotta go stop for a prolonged period of time, make more popcorn. If I want it to be ideal, if I you want it to be the temperature, the butteriness, yada, yada, right, yada. Right, right, right. my Cheetos, I go and grab another bag, pop it right open. And then I'm back to fla- flaming my mouth and right. flaming my enemies while I destroy them. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's all well and good, but it's not the better snack, right? Sometimes... The thing that you want, sometimes the thing that you want has to be prepared the right way in order for it to be what you need it to be. And that is what popcorn is. That is why, that is why when you go to the movies, (laughs) you don't get a bag of popcorn. You get a bucket of freshly made popcorn. That is, that's what, that's what we're talking about. That is what we're getting. That is what we want. That is what you need. That is what is best. Here ended the lesson. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I want you guys to go back and forth one more time. Okay. Uh, Really hitting on uh, what your opponent's choice does to their gaming skills. Uh, there's going to be no re- rebuttal to what you say about the other person. So they're just just straight attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Cicero, you went first. Yeah. So uh, go ahead. And how is Flaming Hot Cheetos going to affect gaming skills in particular? Well, uh, uh, depending on your tolerance for spice and for flames, um, it may have... A, 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 a huge negative impact on your ability to play because it may be too spicy for you. It may feel, uh, you know, make you feel ways that uh, you don't want to feel at the moment when you're trying to game. And um, so, you know, I mean, that's that's kind of terrible. You don't want that. All right, Sean, same question. Go ahead. Yeah, um... Super buttery popcorn will make gamers weak. There is something to your whole experience is too smooth. All the rough edges are sanded off. It's just not good. Gamers thrive in adversity. The kind of adversity, low tier as I do claim it to be, of the flaming hot Cheeto, it just propels gamers to be better. Uh, you, you mean the adversity it, of it getting a popcorn husk? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I, nope. I don't understand why I'm hearing Cicero right oh, now. Oh, oh. Yeah. Maybe he's had it too chain. easy in his life and he thinks he can just talk I, I, whenever. I, thought it I don't was know. Chain. It's the popcorn. Oh, 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 okay. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens right. when you give a person too much popcorn. Yeah. They're too loosey goosey. <laughs> right. I had popcorn today, too. Uh, all right. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm going to take a bite of this. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> this is uh, for the. For the uh, podcast this is, listeners, this is, this is that nothing. is this is podcasting. Right, this is that podcasting is the snack, judge not gamer snack. Grabbing a bag of <laughs> flaming hot Cheetos. Flaming hot lime. Yeah, yeah, the lime Cheetos. Flaming uh, hot Cheetos. All right. Valiant effort, guys. Both of you across the board, uh, both fighting for the snack itself and also for the gaming while eating snack. You know. Cicero, I hate to do this to you, but Flaming Hot Cheetos wins. You know, so I'm not going to say, I'm not going to call back to the Kojima Jeff Keighley argument (laughs) and talk about uh, levels of impropriety, but the judge has a bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos. I didn't come up with this question. In their possession. I did not come up with and, this question. This was chat GPT's question. And then chooses questions. flaming hot Cheetos. I'm not saying that there was any type of bias, but I I'm love just Kojima games. but I'm just saying that somebody may be hearing or seeing this and may make that argument. I think well, it's really important that you brought that up. I agree with you, but also another point is the listeners are going to continue to listen. As I said, the gamers will continue to game. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's a good thing that I don't make the rules here uh, when it comes to Metacritic winners. Oh. Uh, you guys do.